Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of September 30th through October 6th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So maybe there's a little bit of emotion this week, kind of like you may have hard a hard time like keeping your emotions in. Um, sometimes we don't really know why we feel a certain way we do until we just kind of accept it. So I kind of feel like the universe is saying, Capricorn, don't repress your emotions. Don't keep them hidden. Don't be ashamed of them don't feel guilty don't don't feel embarrassed like right like let's not apply any negative emotion to the emotions you feel um we have the king of cups then the ten of cups then the three of cups and the strength then the sun then the fool feels like this is going to be a very very positive and beautiful um enriching week for you i feel like you've been needing you know kind of like this heavy dose of love and abundance and i feel like maybe you know you've been sort of on this journey towards you know achieving all of that but I kind of feel like this week you're you're getting some sort of an emotional release because maybe you've had to make a recent decision that has been maybe difficult maybe you had to make some sort of a bittersweet decision maybe you had to make a personal investment or a personal sacrifice just to keep the ball rolling right just to get closer and closer to you getting what it is that you really want but again it's like this week I feel like you're receiving some sort of confirmation from the universe in a very specific and special way that these sacrifices, these decisions, they're all going to lead you exactly to what you want. So don't feel bad about them or don't feel like it was the wrong move, right? Because I feel, I feel almost with the Seven of Pentacles that a lot of you could be carrying something very heavy within you, almost like putting blame on yourself for something that didn't work or hasn't worked. I just feel like this week you're going to get something that's going to provide you with a sense of I'm on the right track. Page of Cups, Knight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Swords. I feel like the Page of Swords could speak to you receiving that information or finding something out that makes you feel very differently than this Seven of Pentacles energy. I feel like the Seven of Pentacles could be that you are slowly removing doubt, slowly removing all of those negative emotions from yourself as you're getting closer to achieving something but i feel like with the knight of wands and the page of cups i feel like this week there is that personal challenge of embracing what you feel and not feeling bad about it right um kind of accepting that that emotion is a healthy reaction to something that's very important to you right is it's a healthy reaction to something that means a lot to you i feel like that knight of wands is you saying i'm going to take the bull by the horns and i'm just going to go for it no matter what right it's like it's almost like you're looking at your own self-doubt in the face and saying i don't care what you say, I'm still going to try. So I feel like this is going to be a really big week for you. I just feel like this is going to be a week of, you know, a breakthrough of some sort. So let's just go ahead and clarify the Page of Cups. Temperance, which is Sagittarius. So maybe it's something that you have been waiting for for a very long time. Maybe this temperance energy is speaking to something that you feel can provide more stability for you. Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, Two of Swords. Maybe you had to, again, make peace with something from the recent past that you were at a crossroads with. So with that Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, I feel like you have slowly been healing. You've slowly been recovering from that or you've slowly been accepting it to the point of no longer um, letting that stop you. But I, I still feel like it comes up every now and then. Like it's still a thought or it's still something that you think about, you know, where you, you're like, oh man, I remember that time where I had to do this or I had to do, had to do that. But I feel like that's slowly going to change because that's now becoming a source of inspiration and motivation for your future. So right behind this, the temperance is the moon, which is cancer, then the three of swords, then the tower, then the world, and then the six of wands. So that's, that's the, the change, right? That's the transformation that I'm talking about. It's like we go from, oh man, time, you know, it's taking long or this and that, right? Like, when are things finally going to be balanced? When am I going to feel stability? The moon, letting those unknowns get to you, right? Maybe thinking about what's going to happen. 
having sort of wor worst case scenario kind of thoughts or letting your imagination run a little too wild and imagining all kinds of things because you don't have all the answers yet. Three of swords, you know, even maybe, you know, breaking your own heart, right? And maybe feeling as though you can't or having thoughts of imposter syndrome or whatever the case, right? Sometimes we do that to ourselves when we don't know what to expect. But then we have the tower, then we have the world, and then we have the six of wands. So it's almost like embracing that all of this, yes, it's happening. All of this is going to make you feel certain things. All of this is going to make you, you know, go through the motions. But what if, it, what if we embrace it and we let that be your motivation, right? What if we let the fear... What if we let the anxiety, what if we let all of that motivate us to just go for it anyway so that we can at least say that we tried and we might just discover something about ourselves. So I feel like with that world, universe is saying, take take the plunge, just go for it, right? Take, take a swim in that cold water. You may be surprised at just how good you are at adapting to it, right? I feel like with that six of wands, that's, I mean, that's confirmation you're going to be successful even though right now it may not feel like it. All right, let's clarify. Wait, I think these cards came through here. Or now I'm confused about which cards. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Nine, or sorry, Ten of Swords. Yeah. That, that's the thing that's the thing that i love about this energy right now capricorn is that you have these 10 swords right now right this is what you're carrying with you this is the heaviness of it all you you may even feel defeated right now but somehow some way you will overcome that and i feel like this week you're gonna surprise yourself right because that knight of wands is you're gonna something's gonna click and you are going to push through this right here then we have the hermit which is Virgo, the Chariot, which is Cancer, and then the Eight of Pentacles. But I see this as you having a moment, a moment of introspection, giving yourself a pep talk and saying, you know what, we're going to make this happen. That's going to sink in. Then we're going to put the work in, right? We're going to do whatever we have to do. And then the Chariot, things are going to move forward. So I feel like this is about something specific, right? And it's, this is a general reading, so you have to apply it and, you know, apply it how it resonates to your unique situation. But I feel like whatever obstacle... You're anticipating this week capricorn just do not doubt yourself because i feel like that is going to be such an important part of this process is your mind how you're seeing it how you're feeling about it and recognizing that those feelings are not a bad thing so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one